You will be far ahead from where you are right now if you follow these amazing tips in solving the problems on Fourier series. Express f of x is equal to 1 plus 2x by pi where x lies between minus pi to 0 and 1 minus 2x by pi when x lies between 0 to pi. And here is the solution as you already know that f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x. So we have to calculate the values of a0, an and bn and substitute in this formula. For that, let's start with a0. So a0 is equal to 1 by pi times of integral minus pi to plus pi. Here the limits are from minus pi to plus pi, f of x into dx. So now I'm going to split this. So a0 is equal to 1 by pi times of minus pi to 0, f of x dx and 0 to pi f of x into dx see from this question so have uh, split into minus pi to 0 and the next one is 0 to pi so a naught is equal to 1 pi pi times of integral minus pi to 0 so for minus pi to 0 f of x value is nothing but 1 plus 2x by pi so this is 1 plus 2x by pi into dx plus integral 0 to pi from 0 to pi f of x value is nothing but 1 minus 2x by pi 1 minus 2x by pi into dx now i am going to solve for a naught so after substituting after substituting so this is for 1 dx is nothing but x and 2 by pi is a constant and integral x is nothing but x square by 2 between the limits minus pi to 0 next one so integral 1 dx is nothing but x minus 2 by pi is a constant so integral x dx is nothing but x square by 2 between the limits 0 to pi if i substitute upper limit minus lower limit i will be getting the value of a naught so this is 1 by pi times of if i substitute the upper limit this is 0 if i substitute here this will be 0 and if I substitute the lower limit, see what will happen. For lower limit, it is minus. And again, if I substitute minus pi, it will be plus. And I can cancel this. This is minus. Minus pi whole square by pi. So, this is finished. And here, if I substitute the upper limit, this is plus pi. And if I cancel this one, this will be pi square by pi. If I substitute 0, this will be 0. And this will be plus 0. See what will happen. A naught value is equal to 1 by pi times of minus of minus this is plus and here this is minus pi square by pi and here it is minus pi square by pi and here there is already pi here. So if I can cancel this one this will be see a naught value will be 1 by pi times of pi minus pi and here I should write plus pi first of all and later this is minus pi and if I cancel all these I got a naught value as 0. So after getting a naught value so I have to substitute the value of a naught here and again I have to find out the value of a n. So finding a n what is the formula here? The formula is very easy here. So, a n value is nothing but 1 by pi times of integral minus pi to plus pi f of x into cos n x into dx. Again, I have to split this integral into two parts. That is minus pi to 0 f of x into cos n x into dx and later 0 to pi f of x into cos n x into dx. So, a n value will be so a n value will be 1 by pi times of minus pi to 0. So for my between the limits minus pi to 0 f of value is nothing but 1 plus 2x by pi 1 plus 2x by pi cos nx dx plus integral 0 to pi. So between 0 to pi between 0 to pi f of x value is nothing but 1 minus 2x by pi into cos nx into dx into cos nx into dx so now we have to integrate this one so this is u as you know that this is u and this is v again this is u and this is v so we have a formula ready here integral uv dx 
integration by parts so u we have to leave v we have to integrate minus d by dx of u integral v dx whole dx if i substitute in this formula see what will happen a n is equal to 1 by pi times of u i have to leave as it is 1 plus 2x pi pi and v i have to integrate so integral cos x is nothing but sin x by n minus derivative of this one so derivative of 1 is 0 and x is 1 so this will become 2 by pi and again i have to integrate cos nx so this will be sin nx by n of dx here the limits are from minus pi to 0 and next so this integral part remains plus 1 by pi times of u we have to leave as it is 1 minus 2x pi pi and later cos nx for cos nx it is sin nx by n minus integral again i have to make a derivative for 1 it is 0 for x it is 1 it will be minus 2 by pi and for cos nx it is sin nx by n of dx between the limits this is 0 this is 0 and this is pi so if i substitute the same thing here a n will be 1 by pi times of 1 plus 2x by pi sin nx by n so for sin it is minus cos so it is 2 by pi n so this is cos nx by n square so between the limits minus pi so here the limits are from minus pi to 0 and here if you observe 1 by pi times of I am writing this one 1 minus 2x by pi into sin nx by n minus of minus this is plus and here I have to make an integration so for sin nx it is minus cos nx minus into minus plus and again this is minus this will be minus 2 cos nx by pi n square so this is from 0 to pi now I am going to substitute upper limit minus lower limit so a n is equal to 1 by pi times of if I substitute upper limit then this one will be 0 1 plus so if I substitute in place of x this is 0 into sin 0 by n plus 2 pi pi times of cos 0 by n square and if I substitute the lower limit here minus so be very careful while substituting so this is minus pi by pi sin n pi by n so here it will be 1 minus and if I substitute here then this will be lower limit minus 2 by pi cos n pi by n square so I will close it here and for continuation part 1 by pi times of if I substitute pi here this will be 1 minus 2 pi by pi into sin n pi by n and for this one minus 2 cos n pi by pi n square and for 0 so this whole thing sin 0 is 0 so I am writing directly as 0 and here it is for lower limit it will be 2 cos 0 by pi n square see here for sine values it is 0 sin 0 is 0 sin n pi value is 0 wherever I find a sine it will be 0 and remaining ones see a n value will be 1 by pi times of this is 2 cos 0 it is 1 2 by pi n square and here it is minus 2 cos n pi by pi n square if you see here it is minus 2 cos n pi by pi n square and here it is 2 by pi n square because uh, cos 0 is 1 so I will write all the values here cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 and uh, cos n pi value is minus 1 power n and sin n pi value so this is n pi value is 0 substitute all these in the above then you will have a clear idea here if you see and we got a n value as if I send this pi inside or uh, bring outside this is pi square n square and 2 plus 2 it is 4 and 2 plus 2 it is minus 4 cos n pi so if you can observe this one this is 4 minus 4 power minus 1 power n by pi square into n square 
so if n is even and n is odd see what will happen a n value is equal to 4 minus 4 times of minus 1 power n this is pi square n square so if n is even if n is an even value if you could put 2 here then this will become positive so 4 minus 4 a n value is equal to 0 and if n is odd so if n is an odd value if you take 3 or 5 or like that then a n value will be 4 if it's an odd value then this is negative negative into negative this is positive that is pi square n square so a n value is equal to 8 by pi square n square when n is odd and a n value is equal to 0 when n is even please remember this one so these values are so important and later we have to find the value of bn for finding bn we have again 1 by pi times of minus pi to plus pi f of x into sin nx into dx now again i am going to split the values that is 1 by pi this is minus pi to 0 f of x into sin nx dx and later from 0 to pi f of x into sin nx into dx now i am going to substitute the values bn values this is 1 by pi times of minus pi to 0 so what is our f of x value so from the question f of x value is so f of x value from minus pi to 0 is 1 plus 2x by pi 1 plus 2x by pi into sin nx into dx and this from 0 to pi what is a from between 0 to pi between 0 to pi f of x value is nothing but 1 minus 2x by pi this is 1 minus 2x by pi into sin nx into dx sin nx into dx now this is u and this is v again this is u and this is v so we have an integral by paths that is u we have to leave v we have to integrate minus d by dx of u integral v dx whole dx if i substitute in this one let's see bn value will be so bn value will be 1 by pi times of u i have to leave as it is 1 plus 2x by pi and v i have to integrate so this will be cos nx by n so for sine it is minus cos minus cos nx by n and uh, later i have to make a derivative for 0 it is 1 so this is 2 pi pi times of minus cos nx by n of dx and next for this it is 1 by pi times of this i have to leave as it is 1 minus 2x by pi and for sin x it is minus cos nx by n minus so the derivative of this is minus 2 by pi and again this is cos nx by n of dx i have to make a small integration still here that is bn value is 1 by pi times of minus of 1 plus 2x by pi into cos nx by n here it is 2 by pi times of for integral cos x it is nothing but sin nx by n square and here also 1 by pi times of minus 1 minus 2x by pi cos nx by n here it is minus 2 pi pi times of this is sin nx by n square so between the limits i'll show you the limits the first limits are from minus pi to 0 so this is these are from minus pi to 0 and this is from 0 to pi this is minus pi to 0 and this is 0 to pi now i am going to substitute all the limits here so the bn limits will be see here bn will be 1 by pi times of if i substitute the upper limit this will be 1 plus 0 into cos 0 by n and if i substitute this one 2 by pi times of sin 0 by n square if i substitute the lower limit here minus of minus plus 1 minus 2 pi by pi into cos n pi by n and if i substitute the lower limit this will be minus 2 by pi sin n pi so minus of minus plus by n square so the first one 
and later if I substitute the upper limit here so this will be 1 by pi times so if I substitute the upper limit it will be 1 minus 2 pi by pi cos n pi by n minus 2 pi pi of sin n pi by n square if I substitute the lower limit here it, it will be 1 minus 0 cos 0 by n plus 2 pi pi times of this is a sin 0 by n square. So now I have a certain formula that sin 0 value is always 0, sin n pi value is 0. So this will be 0, this will be 0 and see sin 0 here is 0 and sin n pi is 0 and remaining one we have to remember that cos 0 value is 1 and cos n pi value is nothing but minus 1 power n. So B n value, so B n value will be 1 by 5 times of, see if I substitute here, this will be minus 1 by n. If you see here, this is 1 minus, pi pi I can cancel, this is 1 minus 2 cos n pi, n pi by n and if you see here, this is minus 1 minus 2, I can cancel these, this is also cos n pi by n. And if you see cos 0 value is 1, this will be plus 1. So if I can write this as 1 by pi times of minus 1 by minus 1 by n, this is minus cos n pi by n. This is again minus minus 1 minus 1. This is plus cos n pi by n plus 1 by n. If you if you see here, this is plus and this is minus. This is plus and this is minus. So we got the B n value as zero. So after getting a naught, a n, and B n, so we got a naught value as C. I'll show you a naught value here is very a naught value is zero. So I'm substituting here, and we have a, a n value here as eight n. So a n value is as eight by pi square n square where n is odd pi by 8 by pi square n square and b n value is 0 so we have formula ready as f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x so if i substitute all these values here then f of x is equal to so f of x is equal to a naught is 0 and uh, for a n we have odd values that is 1 comma 3 comma 5 and so on to infinity so it will be 8 pi square n square cos n x and again b value is 0 so f of x so f of x is equal to 8 by pi square if i take common and if i keep n is equal to 1 3 5 and so on this will be cos nx by n square n square so if put any uh, put uh, this one x is equal to 0 if i keep x is equal to 0 from the question it is 1 by 8 by pi square so if you keep n is equal to 1 so this will be cos x by 1 square plus cos 3x by 3 square plus cos 5x by 5 square plus and so on so putting x is equal to 0 we have put x is equal to 0 if you keep x is equal to 0 then cos 0 value is 1 so this will be 1 is equal to 8 by pi square times of 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square plus and so on therefore if i send it to other side then this will be 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square and so on value will be this is pi square by 8 so this is how we have to deduce by putting x is equal to 0 so this is how we have to solve and thank you for watching and staying till the end if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel and if you are already the part of this channel practice daily and share it with your friends because they also need it and thank you so much for watching